I promise you, you have never seen a game like this before. What happens if you take 20 world-class puzzle designers and put them to work on the same game? You get Islands of Insight, a massive open-world puzzle game with thousands of handcrafted puzzles. This is astonishing, I can't believe it exists! And I'm playing the open playtest for it, so you should play it for free right now. You have like a week to play before it goes back into development. Let's do it. Oh my god, there's even character creation. I've never seen character creation in a puzzle game before. Where's the thing to give me a bigger ass? I wish to have a dumpy. How can I solve puzzles without an ass? Holy shit. Follow the wandering echo. Yo, beautiful ass islands. What the? Oh, zoom in. Dave. Oh yeah. I don't think this is an NPC. I think it's another human being because this is also like a multi, mu massive multiplayer online puzzle game. With, like, other people you can maybe interact with. Yeah, you could add people to your party. Holy cow. That's cool. So you can sprint and jump and apparently can double jump as well. And a puzzle. My first puzzle. Connect all dark cells. Seems simple enough. Multiple rules per puzzle. Connect all darks and all lights. Oh, God. The XP. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm a level two puzzle solver. Follow the puzzle. More puzzles to be solved. I want the puzzle. Um, two rules at the same time. Seems simple enough to me. I've isolated the white cells. Genius. Absolute genius. Wait, this world is huge. Look at that background. Yeah, I've unlocked some cool cubes. The rift. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Sick movement in puzzle games. That's what I'm here for. Who are you? This, oh, that's me. I'm just outside myself. Good lord! I think there's so much more. What happens if I fall? We <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's solve some puzzles. I'll go back to looking at that in a bit. Okay, don't make a 2x2. Two two. Interesting. So, like that. No 2x2 two two of the same color. What is this? Find five hidden relics within the boundary. Oh yeah, so I guess they're doing a lot of different types of puzzles because... I mean, I don't see why not. If you have a puzzle game this big, you might as well do as many types as possible. Uh, they really want us to master the connection of cells here. Well, I know that white has to go along the outside. And then I guess the rest has to be white here. White has to continue through and then black can go along the edge. That does feel very nice to solve. And I can keep going on hidden relics. I found the things, all the relics. Give me that sweet dopamine. Oh, and here's all the puzzle types. So, oh, logic is a puzzle type. That is broad. There's several dozen of them. And then they got rules. So then imagine like multiplying the puzzle types by the grid rules. And that's probably the amount of types of different puzzles. What is this? Form a link. Oh, I drew a line. Match box. <laughs> what the new upgrade available? What is going on? So you got the cool puzzle big brain currency. Oh, are these like movement upgrades? Oh, like double jump. Oh, that's fun. Charge jump. Flying speed. You can fly in this game. I was going to say, how do you have upgrades in a puzzle game? But this makes sense. Hold on. Where's the pair? Are you supposed to match them by the same symbol? Because it looked like the red and the green that had like the same symbol on them, even though it's different colored boxes. But you know what? I'll, I'll connect these, see what happens. Yeah, wrong target. Hold on. Hidden archway. Find the arch, pass through the arch. Simple enough. Oop, oh, oop, oh, found one. Hold on, so it's probably a perspective puzzle, right? Like, I can see the one in the tree. Can I just draw the line to that there? I can. So figure out where to stand to line these up. Oh, found another one, found another one. All right, where, where are you, Mr. Weird Symbol? Oh, hidden archway. Oh, and there it is. Okay, I like that. Um, can I get them both in view, or does it let me turn? It does let me turn. So much XP that I haven't really fully internalized yet. I can't believe there's a game that does this. Okay, don't make 2x2s. Two two. So, block off all the white 2x2s. Two this could be fine. I could continue like so. Well, hold on. No, I'd have to go like this. There we go. Looking good. Ooh. Campaign quest. I got the Mirabilis. The weird trippy shape. Oh. 
Okay, so getting one gets me more islands to explore, hence the name Islands of Insight. I'm actually down for quests and shit when it's around puzzles. Normally I make fun of this sort of stuff in games, but I mean, it's a fucking puzzle game about it. Of course I'm gonna make an exception. What is this thing? I can interact with them somehow. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this. Look through all golden rings, but no black ones. Like this? No, that looks through a black ring. Oh, hold on, I see it. R Maleri rings. Okay, it looks like it'd probably be from under, just because of this one. And it looks like it's here. Uh, this perspective shit is easy. I'm here for the logic, but I do actually enjoy these, because it seems like you can kind of either get through them real easily or to do some, and this seems to be a logic type. Okay, no 2x2 two two black cells connect all dark cells. Yeah, I gotta start with eliminating the 2x2s. Two two. That seems to be the most sensible thing. So if there's like three in a 2x2, two two, you gotta block it off with the other color. At least this way I'm forced to travel this way with black. I think this actually just makes sense. Nice. What is this thing? Wait, what? What is this? What is happening? Like whenever I'm stepping on this, they all track me. Okay, maybe I just need to be in a spot where I can see all of them. Is that possible? Yeah, they always block each other somehow. I think this actually does it, though. Sentinel stones. I want more logic, but I'll take any type of puzzle. Is there a puzzle locator? Maybe that's an upgrade. That would make sense as one. Oh, what's this? Hidden puzzle? Gotcha. Oh, hidden cube. Uh, is there another one up there? Oh, I think I found it. Gotcha. What did I get? Oh, another Mirabilis. Two at the same place. Consider this land conquered. All right, what do you got for me, world? Oh, the map. Holy shit. This game is going to consume my entire life. Uh, I gotta go on the big island. There's a mega pyramid there. And, oh, I launch off from here. Well, fun. I'm not sure the pyramid is a boss. It might be like an early boss. Could feel like a early puzzle gauntlet. Immediately met with... What are you? Lore. Remember a time before. A vast expanse. Beautiful but lonely. And then it all changed. Uh, they haven't hired voice actors yet. I mean, I feel like a video can't even do this justice, because a lot of time I'm just exploring with my mouth about six inches away from where it should be. What the hell is this? Oh, puzzle has got presence in the overworld. How do you play? Okay, I see. You swap blocks. It's a, it's a match three. The fact that there's two of them left is bad. Don't do that. Can I swap? No, I can't swap these two. That's curious. I could swap those two. Can I swap vertically? Yes. Hmm. What's the rule for not swapping? Maybe if it just doesn't form a group of three? At some point, I have to make this swap. I know, if I swap this first, it might work a little better. Yeah, no. Damn it. So when I make this swap, this will have to fall down. And the only way for it to actually remove itself is if when it falls, it makes a group of three. So a gr group of three does not exist prior. I could swap here. No, I don't understand. I need to remove this piece somehow. Why is this one stumping me? Maybe this is the starting move. Because this is the only move that actually lets me swap this and preserve the greens. Is this it? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I clearly have not played enough match threes. How funny that it's that kind of puzzle that humbles me. Oh, a logic puzzle. Here we go. Uh, two of them must uh, be represented by the two pips. Area numbers must equal region sizes and don't make a two by two pattern. So it could be one, 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 but this would make a two by two. No, it's fine in white. Uh, if the region is to be one, then these must be white. So then I could finish the white, do a black. There we go. Or maybe it was two pips for two difficulty. It was trickier. Oh, there's another two pip logic puzzle up there, but another red cube. Where is its equivalent? Or this, what about this? Oh, the hidden relics. Found you. Hey, found you. Hiding back here. This is a pretty nasty area. A lot of potential here. Is that a cube? It's a cube. It's not the cube. Oh, man. Actually, there are so many corridors and dead ends in here. This is the perfect boundary. 
Uh, there's one. Right in his lap. Can I get up? Maybe a vantage point? Actually, yeah, I can. But how much higher can I go? All the way up. Oh, this is where the logic puzzle is. Yeah, I'll find the hidden relic in a second. This is much more important. All numbers are off by one. Holy shit, it's 14 Minesweeper variants. So a two must be in a region of size one or three. So here's the thing. The two and three can't be connected. They'd be in the same region, but with different numbers. So they have to be separated. Same with all of these numbers, actually, unless they're the same. All of the numbers. Oh, but that's not true. If the numbers are two apart, they don't have to be separated. Because we could have a case where the three represents one greater than itself and the five represents one lesser than itself, which I think is actually happening here. The one can't be a zero, so it must be a two. The two could be a one or a three. Well, the three has to be a two or a four, so it must go this way, which then connects it with the five to create a size four, so that is complete. The seven is probably a size six. Oh, same with the other seven and nine. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm here for it. That is sneaky. Good ass puzzle. Where's that hidden object? Ah, there you are. Can I get you from here? I can. That's nice. Don't have to walk right up to it. I see a logic puzzle down there, but I'm going to use this vantage point for a moment. Can I see more cubes? Mm, yeah, the red cubes destroy me right now because there's like a lot of hunting. So I'm going to go do logic instead. I can sprint midair. Don't make a three in a row of either color. Okay, so there's already two in a row of black. So you mark those. Two in a row of white, you stop that. Two in a row of white, you stop that. Um, I wonder if it applies vertically. I'm going to just play the puzzle as if that were the case and see what it leads me to. I mean, so far it doesn't lead me to anything bad yet, but it is very suspicious. Well, I mean, I guess it could just result in a puzzle solve. Yeah, I suppose it could. No three in a row of either direction. Uh, what else is hiding here? Oh, another cube. Oh, hold on, hold on. I see you. Ah, uh, you can't hide forever. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see some pinwheel cubes. And more visions of everybody. This is a really tight corridor. Where? How? What? These are a ridiculous barrier. Maybe I have to, like, stand... What on earth? Okay, wait, it might actually be possible from right here. Okay, the one spot. Sentinel stones feel like they should be hard for me, but they haven't been, thankfully. In an archway, I know you're always here. Ah, sick, and a variety of architecture too. I mean, look at this shit. So many islands, including the one I'm on, but there is so much to travel to. I bet like the small islands are pretty difficult. I actually feel like a kid again, just wandering through the jungle. Is that? Like, wow, okay, there's a lot of green and red cubes here. Well, these match up for sure. These two I didn't even notice until now. Oh, some rings, some... Oh, something new. Let's do the rings first. Stick with the, the devil you know. And it looks like to me that if I inch forward, this is a clear shot through all of them. What is this, a mirror maze? Do I have to physically run through it? Yeah, I think so. What's this? Not sure. All right, just get to the exit. All right, well, I mean, that seems simple enough, right? Here it is. Oh, oh, there's another layer. Crystal Labyrinth. Yeah, I'm constantly on the hunt for puzzles. Where? I need more. I, need, I see something here. Hidden archway? Sure, I'll take it. Oh, oh, another match three puzzle. Am I better this time? He's kick my ass. Uh, I feel like it wants me to start like this, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's somehow losing. I don't know. It, it feels actually a lot easier so far. Like, if I do this... Oh, there's the bait. I need to get five in a row, but will it let me? I mean, I'm still going to start like this because it's so clean, but it might be a bait. Yeah, I think I'm getting baited. Yeah, I, I I'm down the same route again. Okay. I think that first move is a bait. I could start with the pink first, maybe? Oh, because I could go now. I could go now. Yes, that's the ticket. It was a bait. I'm on to your puzzle game. I match three masteries through the roof. All two mastery. What is this? Oh, vortex. Oh, oh sick. Uh, just planning my next route. What do I do? Oh, maybe I grab the thing that's right in front of it. What? Hey, come back here. 
Where are you? You go up? Yeah, you did. Where are you taking me? The Wandering Echo. Chase the rabbit. Ooh, logic puzzle. Yes, please. All right, area numbers must equal region size. Well, we already have one written out. And again, different numbers can't interact with each other. But five still has to extend out. And again, it can't interact with four in either direction. Five must extend out. Can't interact with two. Five must extend out. Four must extend out. Four could retreat back here. I mean, I could have something that looks like this. Looks good to me. Oh, I see a three pip logic puzzle. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Aleph's are the centers of rotational symmetry. Okay, this is invalid? But this becomes valid? Actually, why is this one no good? This is okay. This is not okay? Ah, I see why it's going bad now. If I build up, the game would want me to build down twice, but it can't do that. Therefore, if I build like this and then mark this as white, the game's telling me I can't do that. So, if the Aleph is the center, going one left should have the same color as going one right. So I could do symmetry, do symmetry, and then symmetry like this, because it's rotational. And ideally, I want to do as many as possible, just because I think it's easier. But this here is not okay. Well, I could do that. It's green now, I see. So if we're going off rotational symmetry, if one over and three up is white, then one left and three down must also be white. And then this piece must have its rotational symmetry, which is here, which makes this Aleph unhappy, which means this must be white. And then these must be white and it makes it happy again. But I've still got to connect the dark cells, which would look kind of like that. I could do more dark. Oh, which looks like this. Oh, if... All dark cells must be connected. This must be white. And then it has to be symmetrical like that. Which means it has to match like that. And that is symmetrical. Oh, that was tricky. Very worthy of its three pips. But we figured it out. Cool. What about the temple here? It, it almost pains me to know that I'm missing so many incredible puzzles. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going. I don't know when to stop. I want to play this for 17 hours straight. Maybe I'll stream it so I can have an excuse to just solve puzzles for 17 hours straight. I don't know, man. Check it out. Islands of Insight. Gonna make another video of this and you guys are gonna like it. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and peace.